Hello, hello, and welcome to an extra coffee craft. I, I know normally today is games revisited, but like I mentioned Tuesday, uh, given given the the I had a doctor's appointment, I had a blood draw, I had a bunch of other stuff going on, and so uh, <laughs> I, I just wasn't. I, I wasn't able to do the prep for games revisited that I normally do. And, and rather than just kind of wing it, I, I decided to do an extra do an extra coffee craft instead. So, um, yeah, here we are. I was in the nether last night a little bit trying to work on getting a little more soul sand uh, because eventually I'm going to need to get a little more nether work going. Uh, what I'm actually thinking of doing is either replacing the top floor of this crop farm with uh, soul, soul sand and setting it up as another work farm or adding a fifth floor of soul sand for another work farm. So we got the wheat almost all grown in since I set it up uh, last night. We got the potatoes almost all grown in since last night. Uh, we got some carrots, same deal. And we got beetroot for some reason. Uh, <laughs> uh, mostly because uh, red dye and my temporary lever that will get moved. As soon as I decide if this floor is going to be the top floor or if I'm going to add one more. But uh, that is not the objective for today. I also did a smidgen of redecorating, putting uh, the smooth stone blocks around the base, uh, which keeps it in theme with those guys there and that guy way back there that you can't see around the wall or that wall. Yeah, so you notice I got cobble and then the smooth stone and then building up from there. And I think since every... All the other ones incorporate some lumber of some sort in them. I'll do this up with a wooden trim. And I might take this guy, this micro crop farm, and move it to the roof. Uh, that, that does mean that I've got a couple of options. Uh, I, I could leave the lever up on the roof instead of having to rig something down here. And, and it also means that uh, anytime I'm in a hurry... I, I I just don't know if I want to make it so that way I have to head all the way up to the roof when I need crops in a hurry or not. Um, <clears throat> on the other hand, th this just kind of chilling here, looking like a little wart off the side of the building is not helping things either. So I, I might move that a little bit further away or something. I also swapped out some of the blocks for, <laughs> for red wool because uh, I, I tend to put my redstone on wool. Um, just... It makes it a little bit easier to, to not accidentally break stuff as I did when I was working on this right here. Um, and just some temporary storage for bone meal. Because uh, I'm tossing extra seeds in the composter there. Uh, getting some potatoes and carrots and beetroots and wheat. Uh, that is from the harvest. I, I got rid of the placeholders that I had in there. So one full harvest and a replant. Uh now that, that's not that's not a ton but that's not a little either so I'm not too too fussed about that uh, surprisingly short on the beetroot but I forget sometimes that beetroot only gives you one although that's like the wheat too um, plenty of carrots a surprising amount of carrots I, I wasn't expecting that many but there we are and the potatoes, which uh, I, I want to say is that's less than I was expecting, but I, I almost forgot that I got a couple stacks of potatoes baking in the oven. And, and so, uh, matter of fact, let's go check on those. Because uh, the, the, the pumpkins aren't coming in fast enough to keep me in pumpkin pie, especially with uh, a few trips hither and yon. And uh, I thought I did it not. Is it up at the top? I could have sworn I put a bunch of stacks of baked potatoes. Where are the baked potatoes? Ugh. 
short-term memory something or other. Uh, yeah. So, like, these guys are... Yeah. I, I, I wasn't expecting to run through that many eggs. I, I'll get a chicken cooker hooked up at some point. I, I don't think this is the final spot these farms are going to be anyway. I, I think I might move the animal farm somewhere else, in which case I'll need these guys to, to move to wherever I set that up. Uh, definitely going to build a proper melon pumpkin farm because 16, 16 pumpkins and a stack and a half of melon slices is not, that's not helping. That's not helping at all. Uh, did, did I put, no, that's the junk left over from that project up there and I never get around to moving it back where it goes. Um... That's part of today's objective, because I did spend a little bit of time up on the mob farm collecting various and sundry, and I already fished out some of the bones because I needed uh, <laughs> I, I, I needed bone meal for, for things. The one lone chicken jockey. I'm actually kind of surprised I'm getting more spider eyes than I expected, because uh, they only drop when a player does damage, unless those spider eyes are coming from witches, which may be the case. At some point, I will retool that, but that is uh, that is what I got for now. And the cacti and the sugar cane is doing pretty good. Sugar cane's not going as quick as I'd like, so at some point, I may build another layer to the sugar cane farm. But in the meantime, let me go ahead and turn in this cacti and get some more sand. Oh, no. Okay, that's it. Oh. Oh, how many more do I need? Oh. Okay. Oh, I just need eight more cacti, and I could have gotten one more. All right. Well, that'll almost certainly happen by the end, and I'm going ahead and packing it down to sandstone because that challenge is going to require... That's going to require a lot. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a little better than half a stack towards the... How, how many do I need? Uh, lots. Half a stack towards the lots. Uh, <laughs> uh, I got enough to make, I got enough to make the, uh, nope. Hey, there he is. Thank you for the raid, Arcadius. Although, why is my Streamlabs alert not going off? I've been having some weird problems with that. I need to, I need to, I need to look... I need to look into that. Um, or is it not coming through? Okay. Lots of things aren't looking right. All right. Oh well, I'll figure it out later. One, one, one problem at a time. Um, I need to. I need to do the fishy challenge too. That. That requires that requires more fishing than uh, I, I tend to do. I mean, it's only five cod, five salmon, three puffer fish, three tropical fish, and five ink sacks. I got the ink sacks. I actually have the cod floating around in a box somewhere. Uh, I just uh, okay. No, there's one. I got some more somewhere else. And again, we're back to the. Uh, I'm sorry, the item you're looking for is in a different box. Which is oh yeah, and I gotta I gotta replace the tree farm. Uh, I'm gonna tear this little platform down, and I'm gonna start building out a proper decorative island up here, and maybe work my way down to Medic's little moat over there. And Reyes and I are working on the same level here but build a decorative island with buildings and grass and gardens and things. I, I'm I'm half tempted. I am half tempted to build out this platform here and make it a dark and cavernous dungeon like, uh, and then put the villagers here like they're Morlocks or something. Uh, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, don't worry. Okay, no, I, th there's the rest of the cod. There's the ink sacks, but that still doesn't tell me where... Where did my baked potatoes go? Why do I have 42 potato here? But oh, I know I put a, I put a stack of potatoes. I put a couple of stacks of potatoes in somewhere to cook. Did they 
glitch out because my life. Uh, I lost several stacks of potatoes. That is a shame. I was really looking forward to some fries. Just double checking to make sure I didn't like have it in my inventory at that moment. Uh, yeah. So storage, that is that is the primary goal for today. I need to I need to I need to get my storage life in order. Uh, so first order of business is actually going to be tearing a lot of this stuff down, which I am not looking forward to. Uh, I want to build a proper decorative landing pad probably out of granite and uh, start building like granite pathways to, to different areas so my th my initial thought is to have the landing pad a ring of furnaces and workstations and then a ring of storage around that uh, so you get the concentric rings of uh, stuff of interest and uh, and then working working around from there. I just I'm not entirely sold on that. I'm also still like deeply worried that, uh, about where my baked potatoes went to. I don't know why. But by, by the time I'm done, I'll have another harvest ready. Ah. Uh, um. So that that is the initial thought. Although, although, if I if I can get if I can figure out what the what I need to do to make it happen, I think I got all the components. Um, I'm going to return to a season zero build and see if i can get a carpet duplicator and how many how many furnaces that will feed my only concern is, is that when i did when i did the carpet duplicator the last time i ended up with four furnaces three hoppers each furnace that's 12 12 hoppers and uh that's fine in a regular game. Hmm. 319. I didn't realize I was doing that good. Okay. But you see, I, I'm already at 17 out of 50 hoppers allowable. So another 12 hoppers, that, that, that puts me a lot closer to the max than I wanted to be. And I still got a fair number of farms left to do, too. Oh. Although it is good to know that, uh... That, um... I don't have any monsters anywhere. Although that that is another that is another thing too. I, I'm I'm thinking also of converting the entire island to uh, either sky or mushroom, and then going back over to that corner where the mob farm is, and switching those over to desert. Um, only because the desert biome means that I will get fewer zombies and more skeletons and spiders and other things. Uh, which reminds me, I'm going to need a lot of leather for a couple of things that I want to do. So let me grab all the zombie flesh. And actually I just have the three, the three furnaces. So let me go stick a stack of zombie flesh in there because we have a custom crafting recipe that lets us uh, bake the zombie flesh into leather, uh, which is kind of nice. It, it, I, it's one of those things, Moyang, if you're listening, this is a really good idea because rotten flesh is kind of useless. Uh, yes, you can use it as a food, but the uh, sickening ability really kind of kind of... You know, tamps that down a little bit. You can feed it to your dog, but seriously, don't you love your dog? Why would you give them the Minecraft version of Old Roy? Um, you can trade them to a cleric, although the, the rates at which they trade for zombie flesh are ridiculous. 
ridiculous. It's like half a stack for an emerald. So you need you need to get tons of zombie flesh to make that worthwhile. Uh, although uh, the the gold farm that we had in season one produced more than enough to make that worthwhile. So there there is that too. Um, all right. I need so what I need to do is get my thoughts on order. Now, oh, what I need to do is I need to get a couple of chests off to the side somewhere so that way I can start tearing this down, including the furnaces that I just started up. I should have moved those first, shouldn't I have? That's a sign that I desperately, desperately need coffee. That's all right. Coffee's brewing. Coffee's brewing. Reyes is on that. All right. Uh, just for kicks, let me go ahead and do the, the biome switching thing real quick anyway. Change island biome. Uh, current radius. All. Uh, do I want to go mushroom or sky? No, I want to do mushroom for now. And then I'll do sky later. Although. Although. I might want to go ahead and do... Uh, do I have Taiga? I do have Taiga. Because Taiga means that I could get some foxes. But really, the, the big use for... F well... Huh. I mean, the primary big use for foxes is to power a sweetberry farm. But it, I don't know if you've noticed, there is a distinct lack of sweetberries around. And that could be a problem. Bless you. Sweet ambrosia. Um, on the other hand, if you're really careful with your heights and hitboxes, you can actually give a fox a flaming, looting sword and hatch chickens in a container just below where the fox is. And, and you get to really, really play with the heights and, and get it very precise. But you can actually set it up so that way the hitbox is high enough that the fox can kill the chicken, but not high enough that the fox can grab the chicken meat. And... When the fox has the the flaming looting sword in its mouth, it it actually uses those enchantments. So you end up with cooked chicken as if you had hit it with a looting fire aspect sword. And, and so you can get lots of lots of cooked chicken without having to worry about fuel that way. Um, that's a thought. That's a thought. Also, I need, I really need ice. Uh, but to do that, I'm going to need to put together an ice tray somewhere. You know, I might take one of these slime chunks and set that chunk as a taiga. And set up an ice tray there. Although ice is a spawnable block, so that means that once it freezes over, the slime will be able to spawn on the ice, which is not nice. Or maybe I'll just put another layer under... Uh, no, because you need sky access for ice to form. Uh, Alright, you know what? Since I'm getting ready to build and I don't want to be assaulted by stuff in the middle of things, and you can always change it later, I'm going to go ahead and change the entire island to mushroom. You've changed all blocks around you. The pixies are busy. Uh, now, the kicker is is that in order for all these changes to to finish taking effect, I have to unload the, unload the chunks and load them back in by either logging out and back in, or I think... Uh, I think the spawn island is far enough away that if I go here... Wait a few minutes... And then head back. I should, uh, I should be enough. Man, I, I'm, I'm really embarrassed about my island. Look what these guys have put together. 
Look at that. That's a nice little fishing hut there. Look at that. What's that dock made out of? Trapdoors? Trapdoors and fence posts? That works. That works. And then the uh, castle over in the corner there. I, I hesitate to go any closer to Arcadius's island because he seems to have be running into some problems. And I'm really wondering if this is uh, Spider Spawner 2.0. Um, in Season 0, someone uh, let the spiders accumulate in the spider farm a little too much. And when he killed them, the... Did that work? Uh, nope. I'm in the ocean biome. Alright, uh, that must mean that I'll have to log out and log back in. I'll do that in a little bit. Uh, so, when, when, when the spiders were killed with a couple of wax, uh, the combination of XP items and spider loot was enough to, to overwhelm our pitiful server. That, this was before we went on to Cube Toes 2. This is when the server was an old laptop sitting up on the media center. Uh, just chilling there. All right. I want to be in this chunk here. And go... Island. Change current biome. Desert. Oh! No! Dug on it. That was set to the all island. Okay. All to mushroom. Nope. <sighs> Change biome. Chunk. Desert. Go to this chunk here. And we're at chunk desert. All right, let me switch over to this real quick and let me disconnect. Let the world gen fairies do their thing. Reconnect. And this is desert. This is desert. And this is mushroom fields. All right. I'll probably play with that a little bit more later, but this means that I don't have to worry. Oh, um, is the entirety of that farm? Oh, uh, oh no, that's the clock. Okay, never mind. Yeah, the entirety of the farm is hanging out over here, over where the slime chunks are. And I actually don't know if, um, I don't know if changing biomes alters whether or not this is a slime chunk or not. That That's actually a good question that I never thought of, because what's happening behind the scenes is you, Skyblock, is using World Edit to edit the biome. Now I'm wondering, did, it, did I just screw up my uh, slime farm? Easy way to find out. Let's, uh... Let's flick the lever and go walk away somewhere. Give those guys a chance to spawn in if they can. Just run far enough away. And then come back. Oh, I hear a slime. Oh, okay. Yeah, that should be good. Where? 
Where do you think you're going? You idiot. <laughs> you absolute idiot. Okay. Well, I mean, it is a slime, so... These guys are capital D dumb. Absolutely, mind-numbingly dumb. Like, they're one attribute more than an armor stand. And that they have the ability to pathfind. <laughs> sort of. Uh, they don't actually path. They, they don't use the pathfinding AI. Uh, which is why, incidentally, one of the fun things about slime farms is, unlike mob farms, you can be far enough away that mobs stop pathfinding, and these guys will still jump off the platform. Because they're dumb. They they don't have an... Yeah. Okay. Alright. So, slime chunk still works. I'm sure the mob farm still works. I'll f well, I'll find out in a little bit. Uh, hmm. All right. Let me uh let me start trying to find a a new temporary home for stuff. Because I I'm going to need to find where I put my water bucket. Yeah, I'm still kind of cranky that I only have the one. All right, let's go back home. Oh yeah, that's right. The the mushroom biome gives grass that like extra green, extra bright green. All right, uh, we got that. Let me grab. I'm gonna need some of those, some of those, just for a minute. Because I need, I need to move my infinite water source. I need to move all the other stuff. Are they, are they actually done? Okay, they're actually done. Good, 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 good. Uh, I don't know how much space I'm gonna need for all this though. That is kind of bothering me. That is kind of bothering me a lot. Uh, let's. Hmm. Yeah. I hate doing this kind of stuff. Alright. Alright, let me go grab another water source and then I can start tearing that thing down. There we go. Alright, I got my little infinite well of wishing. Or well wishing. Uh, yeah, I'll have to figure out what to do with the water in a minute. Alright, let's get some solid blocks so I can start tearing this apart. I forgot I left that crafting table sitting there, too. Oh, no. I might lose a crafting table. <laughs> Although, I joke. That does matter. And last one. There we go. Um... Is that enough to uh, unwater log it? Yep. Okay, good. I gotta be really careful because I am like at the deepest bottom. Alright. 
see Java wandering around like a little lost puppy. of these slabs, but let's try to pack up space a little bit. That's a little less space. Let me get a uh, let me get a couple of chests set up over here, and then then I can start moving items. I won't bother resetting up the furnaces just yet. Not until. Uh, I'm not even going to try to organize this. I I should, but I'm not. All right. Uh, let's do this the simplest way we can. Actually, I guess I don't need... Uh, since we set it to Mushroom, I don't need to worry about stuff spawning on top of that anymore. At least until I change it. I need to get the uh, I need to get the enchanting station set up too. I got the stuff for that upstairs. I got all right. Let's stop and think again. Again, <laughs> to do it again, I have to have done it the first time. I need to. I need a landing pad. I need. A space to move the cobble generator, because once all the storage is down here, I'd rather have the cobblestone generator down here. I'm going to need uh, a space for all the different workstations. Like uh, I know, I know, I need a, I need a loom. I need an armor bench or an armor workstation or whatever it is that you use to upgrade diamond stuff to netherite. Uh, that, for some reason, escapes me this very moment. Uh, the fern eye I'm going to need. Ah! Oh. Okay. Make it quick. <laughs> Inventory space. bother trying to carry the other half just at this moment. Oh, I did have some of that in there. Okay. <laughs> oh! I... I okay. just realized a small miscalculation. Uh, I will not be able to take the expressway down as I removed uh, my water, water soft landing. Well, I got the bucket of water on me. I, I can always move that. Yeah, I'll, I'll move that in a minute. All right, let me grab... I'm going to leave the crafting bench over by here because one of the primary uses is for the slime farm itself and I like having a crafting bench handy to craft that up into slime blocks. So the crafting bench will, will stay here, uh, but I can take the stone cutter with me. And hope I have enough room for everything here. Yes. Barely. But good enough. Okay. Let's go uh, drop off that last little bit there. And then... And then... And then... I can 
try to fumble my way around with some uh, decorating. Such as I can. Okay. Okay. that there for the moment um, teleport back up because I need some granite and I'm not sure what else I'm going to need so Mm. I've got andesite down there already. Well, I might, yeah, I might use the andesite too. But one step at a time. One step at a time. First things first. I want an actual. I want to maintain that kind of a landing pad. And I think what I'm going to have to do though is I'm going to have to take the steps down. Uh, let me go grab. Let me go set up a stone cutter real quick. Wait, where's my... Yeah, let me keep those handy. Let me set up some slab... Or <laughs> some polished slabs. And... Do I want to do the polished stairs? Now, let me go ahead and do more of the polished slabs because I'm going to use plenty of those. And I think what I want is to get a bunch of polished andesite stairs to run around the edges. Oh, I do I do want some polished granite stairs though. Uh, we'll grab half a stack for now. And I am gonna want some andesite polished andesite slabs as well. So there's a couple of those. Surely I have there we go. Let's grab some of those. Even though I know this place is spawn proof because mushroom, um, I may. I was about to say I was going to bottom slab everything anyway, just to like belt and suspenders it. But I mean. I don't need to. Although. I know I need this to be a water catch. So that way when I drop down off the roof, at least for now, I may, I may set this up as a water column again later. Once I get uh, easier access to glass. Uh, so. That's not quite what I wanted. That's just a little too wrong. I'm tempted to do it like that, but then the stairs are centered, but where I'm actually falling is not. Uh... And that's just feeling a little large. Although, that can work. Uh, no, I can't. Let's go three by three. 
We'll do it like this because I want to be able to have some stairs going up out of the pit and then we'll put a uh, uh, granite walkways going out from there to the different farms. Uh, I'll figure out the pathing path before too long. And yes, I know I'm building this up a little bit higher. I could be building this right here at at the at the at the ground level, so to speak. But um, I want to leave a little gap in case uh, uh, an unfortunate creeper incident happens. And that way, if I do it like this, where there's a little bit of space between the two, the odds of the creeper taking out the floor and the floor below it are very, very slim. Especially if I use highly blast-resistant uh, blocks like... Oh. That's... okay. What in the world? That isn't usually the way that works out. Fine, fine, fine. Let's just do this right now. Because, of course, Minecraft water is going to get stupidly weird on me for some reason. That wasn't the way that was supposed to work out, but it did. I also really, really need to, uh, I need, what do I need? I need to finish a thought. I need to, I need to put a light in the middle. I'm not putting a jack-o'-lantern. I'd love to put a sea lantern, but I don't have those yet. So what I might do... Uh, do I have any glowstone down here, or do I have to go back up to the top to get it? Because there's two glowstone dust, but I thought I had glowstone. No? No. I've got the jack-o'-lantern, but I don't want to do that. Uh... Back to the top we go. Let's head down just a smidge. Eat a potato. And if I were me, I would have put the glowstone there. With the other lights. Naturally. Uh, maybe not naturally, but okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a lot of that kind of stuff where uh, <laughs> I do like the larger landing area. All right, let's... Uh, there we go. Yeah. Or do I... No, because if I... Okay, yeah, because if I put it up, that means the glowstone is going to be out of the water, which is going to defeat the purpose of having the water there. So by doing this, that puts it, yeah, that puts it such that it is waterlogged, and, or that there is water, and I will not take fall damage landing on the light. Okay. Uh, I should probably get some more glowstone at some point too. Alright. I should probably also set up a bed somewhere. There's my bed. There's my bed. And I need two slabs. Because the bed can't be on a bottom slab. For reasons. That only Minecraft understands. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I think this is going to be the new level of the floor. 
when I finish. That means a lot of these farms with their, their storage down and below. Uh, that means I'm going to have to start working like a little stairwell down to the basement here to, to get this kind of stuff done. Uh, yeah, the sugar farmer is ready for harvest, but I don't, I don't, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'll get my one more sandstone, though. I should decorate the whole bottom in sandstone, but uh, that, that might not give me the result I want either. Right up with the other sandstone. 50-50 chance, right? There we go. Yeah, by doing by doing building the floor up just a smidge, that means that uh, I could put some up. I could put the I could put the stairs like that, and that means that when you'll you'll be able to access it through the top edge of the stair, and you'll still have access to everything down there. Uh, I think I've got this set up. No, I don't. Okay. I was thinking I could knock that out. But that's where the water is. So I'll have to figure something to, to run a, a switch under. But then again, I might have to go back to my original plan and put, uh, put that micro farm on the roof. And then go from there. Speaking of farms... And the fact that I'm down to my last nine potatoes. Uh, does this look ready to harvest? All right, all but like two. Uh, more importantly, how does the potato farm look? The potato farm looks about it. As does the carrot farm. There might be like, yeah, one or two... But you'll get the seed back, so it's not like you, you're out. And beetroot's in the same place, but uh, I need potatoes. So this is what a harvest is going to look like of a not-quite-complete farm, or a not-quite-complete run. I just need to make sure that the last of everything is making its way over. Alright, that's everything, right? Yep. Let me go back up to the top, turn that off. The one downside to the way I did this versus the original farm is the way I did this, I don't have nearly... Oh yeah, you can't let that run too long, otherwise the, the farmland will revert back to dirt. Um... The original farm design had more hoppers. Instead of instead of water streams moving into two hoppers, it was it, it was a bank of hoppers running into the chests at the end, which means you don't end up with that, where there's a bunch of items uh, sitting precariously close to despawning. But uh, sometimes that, that's just the way it goes. That is one of the one of the downsides is just how how slow hoppers move items. I might be able to speed it up if I get some hopper minecarts involved, but that that would require far more engineering than I wanted to do. All right, uh, let's slide this stuff out of the way in my inventory real quick. Let me grab a stack of wheat, a stack of beetroot. A stack of carrots and a stack of potatoes, because uh, I don't think I don't think I needed all of those. And for now, because I will eventually get a villager, and I may need the beetroot to unlock them. For now, I'll go ahead and uh, do up another. Oh, no! I do need more than a stack. Oops. 
All right. Why did I think I needed just a stack? All right, let me grab a second stack of those, and a second stack of those, and a second stack of those. And for some reason, I thought I just needed a stack. I didn't think I'd put that much down. Or did I not grab a full stack the first time? I may not have grabbed a full stack the first time. I suspect that was the case. Because this really doesn't feel like full stack territory. Oh well. Let's get it planted. I know, exciting work. Farming. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I guess I just didn't grab a full stack the last time. For some reason I remember the other the other version yielding more, but I think that's because in the in the version on the season well, it was before Season 0, so on, on the version of the server that we ran previously, I think it felt like we got more because I'd made it twice as tall. Because I want to say I had two, two floors of each type of seed, and beetroot hadn't been added to the game yet, so that was not one of the options. Uh, two rows for each type of seed, and one more of nether wart up at the top. Uh, that sound that sounds about right. Although this does look smaller in other dimensions too. I wonder I wonder if I could have made this wider. I think I could have made this wider. Oh well. Coulda woulda shoulda or something. All right, let's get our wheat in there. We're going to stock up on the wheat seeds pretty quick. Uh, and the beetroot seeds a lot faster than we're going to stock up on beetroot. And we'll get our carrots and potatoes. Ooh, I, didn't, I just realized I didn't get any poisonous potatoes that last time. Interesting. Oh. And let me grab a stack and put those in the oven because I'm going to need them. I'm down to my last nine potatoes. Um, if I were me, I would have put the furnace where? There. I'm not going to set up all three, though. There's no point in setting up all three over in this temporary little space here. Uh, let's go ahead and just set that right there. And get a stack of baked potatoes going. I'd like to know where all those other ones went, though. That bothers me. That really bothers me. Hmm. Where did I put them in the nether? I think I put them in the nether. Sorry. I, I, I feel a overwhelming need to check and see if I left... Uh, I left my stack of carbs in the nether. Actually, now that I frame it like that, I really could go for, uh... I really could go for, uh... For words. Uh... <laughs> for some fries. Mmm. Some curly fries. There's some nether quartz under there. I gotta, I gotta work on that. I gotta, I gotta work on getting my way down. I think what I'm gonna try to do at some point is, oh yeah, donuts for the coffee would work too. Donuts are always welcome. I think. Hi, friend. Come here. 
I, I need you to not be over by Rest Island. Fine. <laughs> Alright, let me drop that off in a box somewhere, because that's what I do. I fill random boxes with random things, like bat heads, apparently. I've been getting a lot of those. Um, new farm design shouldn't have that problem, although I just realized that... Um, Because of the way I did the biomes, I'm not going to be able to do the farm design that I thought I was going to be able to do. Alright. If I can get my hands on a couple of sheep. If I can get my hands on a couple of sheep, then I can just keep that farm design going the way it is. And maybe add a second layer to it. And then put up some pillars to block spider spawning. Because at the end of the day, the main thing I need, I need wool and I need string. And given the complete and utter lack of sheep around here, I, I have... Oh, let me, uh... Alright, that's all I need. That's all I need. Um, like... I can get a sheep as soon as I get two wool of every color. Although with the biome changing, I, I can try to get some sheep in that way too. I can set everything to uh, to a forest or something. Uh, that might mean that I need to get uh, I need to get some grass down here. Except I used all my dirt on that farm, didn't I? Did. I did use... Oh, uh, no, I got seven dirt left. Ah, seven dirt. I, I should be able to get the grass from all the way up there down here with seven dirt, right? No? Yeah, no? Ah, I'll tackle that problem later. Because I'm also going to want to set a corner somewhere over to Flower Forest so that way I can get dyes for the the wool farm. Where am I going? What am I doing? Losing my ever-loving mind. That's what I am doing. Alright. Focus. No. Talking to myself isn't going to help me focus either. If I start building my pathways off like that, around a central hub, how big an area do I need anyway? And what else do I want to do the floor with? I, I don't want to do straight andesite. I want to use the andesite for the trim. I'm going to need some other flooring block that is not cobblestone. Could go with lumber, because that would be in keeping with a lot of the farms and things. I could, well, I could bring this down once I get a little bit further, too. Uh, I could make something else in there, too. What do I have handy? I got diorite. Not going to happen. I could, do, I could do some smooth stone. Do some smooth stone... Mix that with the andesite. That could always work. With the smooth stone and stone. With the andesite trim. Uh, that's got some merit. Um, of course, that that's starting to feel a little too gray. Because we're, we're going to have like that unless unless I figure out a design pattern is that that's what I'm known for yep everybody comes asking me about my design patterns no they don't not even a little bit uh, well, 
those do blend in together kind of nicely. I'm tempted to just do a checker pattern with this. Because when all those fails go, go simple. But I don't... I'm not in love with that. One, two, three, four, five... Two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. So maybe, maybe I can do that. Uh, I'll just build this workway out for a minute. I could sink some of the workstations down a smidge anyway. That might be the way to do it too. Put the workstations on the ground. Um, I could always do barrels too and put the barrels on the floor no I don't I don't like that option I do not like it Sam I am I'll uh, put that there for the moment and let me finish out this checker pattern here for a second and have a minor heart attack while I realize that things are not well lit even though even though I changed the biome cuz old habits and it doesn't help that the skeleton horses are just outside my field of vision <laughs> so every now and again I look off to the side and I see the skeletal something and it gives me just a momentary pause. Alright. Doom. Dooby dooby doo. No. Uh, do I want to keep doing like that? Maybe. Um, but what I can do is while I think about that, I can grab, I can go grab, um, some sugar cane so I can make some paper to make some bookshelves. <laughs> yeah, the cacti are plentiful. Let's see, how much paper can we make? Ooh, okay. That ought to be that ought to be good enough for a little bit. because uh, it's I think it's only eighteen bookshelves for an enchanting station. I can never remember, and I always make too many. I thought I had a bunch of planks already set up. Left over from... Up top somewhere. Where did I use them? Maybe I did use them. Alright, never mind. Uh, one, two, three... So first things first, we need books. And then we need planks. And I'm gonna need more more planks. That ought to be enough.
Oh yeah, that was more than enough. Okay. I'll keep those handy. No. Uh, I need I need oak. Because oak will blend in with uh Where did you come from? Oh. Here. Alright, I keep trying to run over to the, uh, the up elevator. Alright. I guess since this is a mushroom, I don't need this roof. Although the roof was to protect me from, uh, phantoms as well as anything else. I'm still kind of surprised no wandering trader has spawned on here. I mean, I, I've had builds that were smaller than this that they spawned in. Oh, well. Ours not to wonder why. Ours just to grumble and complain. I, okay. I was beginning to wonder if I had cooked the, uh, the potatoes in there, but apparently not. And I really should have that handy anyway for uh, faster cooking. Of potatoes and other food, foodstuffs. Oh, I did have two more bookshelves and an enchanting station. If I were me, I would have put. There we go. Alright, and I needed some oak. Because that's going to blend in with the bookshelf a little bit better. Potatoes? Am I saying it wrong? Or is it just one of those every time you hear potatoes, you hear potatoes, mash them, smash them, put them in a stew? I'm tempted to put the enchanting station like right here in the corner uh, as part of the ring of workstations. So you come down <laughs> every single time. Potatoes. Jeff has got the right idea. Maybe he'll take a nap on this. <laughs> also, that, that glowstone is ugly. I wonder if I could lo waterlog a trapdoor over that. That should still give me the light. I got some trapdoors around here somewhere, don't I? I could always set my uh, UI to British English instead of uh, American English and they can be jacket potatoes. Then it'd be well and good to go find some fish and chips. Okay, that works. That works a little bit better. I don't know why, but it does. That, that at least feels a little bit better. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to need to work on lighting down here, too. I mean, technically I don't need to. But, because I'm me, I will need to. keep the symmetry for everything that's going on. Alright. I'm still not totally sold on the checkerboard. I, I need to I need to 
broaden my horizons and get some more floor designs in here. I did a little bit of that with the chapel um, in season one where I used the bone blocks to get a little bit more of a, an interesting floor pattern. But being more than slightly more resource constraint this go around, uh, I don't know. All right, let me get some more stairs up. Once I get once I get more of the floor figured out, that'll that'll kind of help solidify a lot of what needs to happen too. I might come back in and just replace a couple of random stone slabs with uh, cobble, just just to give it a little more of a, a textured look. I don't know. That might be that step too far. Okay. Did I bring enough with me? I think I did. Because I, I should have another stack. So far, so good. pattern is irking me so and I don't know why I'm continuing even though it's bothering me so well I know why I'm continuing even though it's bothering me so because I need to get a floor down of some sort so I can start getting some plans together uh, especially as things run into those slime chunks too that that's hmm I hate that I gotta work around all those. Maybe, maybe what I'll do is if I can get enough carpet, I'll make uh, I'll make those carpeted decorative rooms or something, or just carpet the floor up. Uh, either way, it's got to be something that slimes won't spawn on, because as we saw with the farm, even though you change the biome, slime chunks are still slime chunks. Although now I'm wondering. If we've got access to world edit, can I turn some of these off so they're not slime chugs? No, I'm not going to do that. Um, although, I think what I am going to do is on either side of the granite, I'll extend out the antisite. See if that gives it a little bit better something. Because I, I, I'm just, I don't know, some, something's not, something's not gelling with this and I can't quite figure out what it is. I know just enough about design to be bothered, but not enough to know what's bothering me or why. I could also try like a crosshatch pattern or something. I don't know. It's scotch o'clock. My coffee is scotch free. I would like to actually finish with having built some storage though. So I think once I get this done. Oh, not there. I think once I get this done, I'm going to move on with storage and workstations regardless. Because, uh, Tempest Fugit. Eh. 
I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I almost wonder if I shouldn't, uh... And then do that. That's working a little bit better. Sort of. Eh, that's a little bit better. I mean, I could throw stone in there, too. And that would fit the pattern. Because there's no smooth stone stairs. Oh, yang. Uh, Alright, we'll go with this for now. I need... I need to figure out what I'm going to do. And exactly how I want to make this work. I think I'm okay with that. Uh, I need... Make some more chests. Because I'm probably about to go through a lot of lumber on those too. Which means I really need to figure out where my lumber farm is going. I think it's going to be on that back stretch. Holy mother of bats, Batman. Oh, because it's dark. That's a spawnable area. And bats are the only thing that can spawn there. Do bats also count against my... Uh, They don't count against the animals. They don't seem to count against the monsters. Okay. Alright. Uh, I'm going to have to find some lighting. Because that... I am not going to be Batman with a flock of bats everywhere I turn. That That's not going to... That's not going to happen. That is so not going to happen. Alright. So how do I want to do this? Uh, do I want to go ahead? I don't want to... I, I need space. I need items. Although, what I might do is I might... Um, you to go down that hall there. Hall. We'll go... And start getting chests that way. Getting chests. That way. Alright. Can't do it here, because then I'll be bumping into those guys. But I could go down that way. And down that way. And then maybe throw... Barrels? Down part of it? Because I'm not even sure how much storage I'm going to need. Other than lots. Because we had... Six by nine... Six by nine, which is fifty four times another three. Maybe I'll just go log into a backup world and count. We had a lot of chests in in the previous in season one. And I want to make sure that I get a home for everything. Although I think I'll probably end up packing things just a smidge 
smidge tighter than we did just because I don't plan to there there's a lot of things that I don't plan to get a lot of um, so I might I might just start with this and I'll have a storage hallway going that way a storage hallway going that way um, and then maybe go like that down either side and go down this way. I'll have them labeled from the side. Uh, no, 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 no. This will be this will be the start of the work areas. That all of them. That's all of them. Okay. <laughs> Actually. I think I'm going to have I know I'm going to have stuff like the, the logs and the fancy stones that I don't need I don't need a double chest for I think a barrel is going to be more than enough for those so let's move these back just a little Oh, and I am going to go 6... 6i? Six, six Maybe 7 if I drop one more set of chests down and then put some stairs here. Although, I won't be able to get stairs that blend in because no smooth stone stairs. Uh, and then if I do it on that side, I need to do it on this side too. We're going to chop this side back... Put the, the double side there. I'm about to need another axe, aren't I? Yep. Do I have another axe? I do not have another axe. Because of course I don't. Alright, let me go... Let me go craft up another axe. couple of the tools that I don't need on me. I, I don't need the shovel or the hoe um, or the extra sword at least until I get a little bit further along. Let's grab the axe and I know I'm going to need to put these two workstations in there definitely. Do I have do I have the string in here? Cuz it's what I need. I don't have any more logs down here, do I? Well, all right, I got the oak log. Uh, string, string, string. All right, let me go run over by the uh, mob farm then. So many bats. So many bats. I could pull a rest and just do the whole floor in uh, slime blocks. I didn't need two of them. Well, I, actually, no, I will need two of them. Just not right now. Uh, what other workstations am I going to need? I might have to get my resources down here and then I'll, and then I'll figure that part out. I mean, I could put the crafting station down in the middle there, but I want to, I want to keep, uh, easy access to a lot of this stuff. So like if I end up putting, if I, so I, if I end up putting the stones there, then I can put the stone cutter here, because that's definitely going to be needed regardless. Crafting table. Uh, if I put the wool, yarn, that kind of stuff there, I'll have to figure out what other crafting table to drop that direction. Uh, 
I still need to set up an enchanting station because I need to start get, getting some of this stuff uh, enchanted up in a hurry. Oh, I'm going to need an anvil. I'm going to need room for an anvil as soon as I get an iron farm together. Which means I need villagers, which means I need... Um, I probably won't do it on stream just because of how tedious it is. But at some point, I'll probably set up a temporary spawning platform and then change the biome back to um, some place where a zombie villager is likely to spawn. And, uh, and then make something happen with that. Yeah, I don't like those options, but that, that's going to have to be what I do. jump. Yeah, I don't like the if I jump part. that high. Uh, lumber. I need to go grab, I need to go back to, to the island and grab lumber. And, oh, I need to put, I need to figure out where I'm putting the signs down here. Uh, and I guess technically this pool down here is my infinite water source. Even though I didn't expect it to be. Is normally for water to spread like that, it has to have a solid block underneath. Which is weird and frustrating and weirdly frustrating. But that seems to be the way it goes. Let me grab some of those real quick because I want to test to make sure that that works out the way I hope it does. Uh, let me waterlog that real quick. So if I pull... Yep. Okay, so that's going to work as an infinite water source for reasons, I guess. Interesting. Sometimes this game is well and truly weird. All right. So I don't need to worry about an infinite water source. I got a big old one right here in the middle of the floor. And I can start working on the crafting benches. And I might put the smeltery over on that side. I, I might set up uh, a standalone of each of these anyway. Even though, even though I do want to have an automated smelter. Or a semi-automated smelter of some sort. I just don't know how many hoppers I really want to devote to that. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe we'll put uh, that there. We'll put that there. And I'll get one more on the other side. Yeah. Alright. Where am I going to put my signs? And where am I going to put the bed? That is another slightly important question. Without falling into the void. Let's try to answer all questions without falling into the void. I want it to be somewhere handy. But do I throw one here? get the island set up there and then for the moment until I can find whatever workstation is going there 
Here's my challenge, my island signs, or maybe I'll maybe I'll put one of those in each direction, so no matter which way I'm facing, I can get there. I don't know. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. One step at a time. Let's go back up to the top. Let's not fall all the way down to the ground. Uh, let's grab this fern eye. And I need... What do I need to make that a... Uh, I think I need... Three of those. And... Five of those. To make it a blast furnace. Yeah. yeah those things are... Stupidly expensive, but, but, they are very, very useful. Very useful. I should probably also have a campfire down there. I don't have silk touch, though. So I guess I'll have to make me another campfire. I got the charcoal. I need three logs, which I'm running kind of short on. And some number of sticks that I can't remember. Uh, let's get us a... R three sticks. Okay. Let's get us a regular campfire. I'll have to do something about this infinite water supply now, too. Alright. Hey, Beast Lord! How you doing? Oh, and now... And now the Streamlabs alert comes through. Weird. How's it going? Thank you for the raid. Usually this goes around the other direction. <laughs> How's it going, man? You doing good? Yeah, I hear that. I had dinner, but I I could I could eat again. Ooh, thank you for that. Thank you. You have no idea how much that means to me. Right now, I'm trying to do just a chill day of uh, maybe a little decorating, because uh, I, I haven't been doing too much of that on uh, on the Skyblock server. Uh, I'm getting ready to move a bunch of stuff down to the base of the island there. Oh, that was almost bad. I uh, forgot that that was... Yep. That floor's a little thin. I'm gonna have to move. I'm gonna have to move all this storage down there. I'm gonna have to move my cobblestone generator down there. Um. Oh, thank you, thank you for the follow. Uh, this project. Uh, this this is kind of our interim season. I we're we're calling it season two. It's basically while we wait for 1.18 to be released, and then we'll start we'll start a, a proper longer term world. Um, so the idea is that everybody's got their own little island, and we're trying to make the best of it that we can. I've not had the free time here to to really do a do a proper proper get up. Um, so, you know, no giant pagodas like what Arcadius has put together, um, or giant castles like what, uh, medics put together, <laughs> uh, where I usually get them beat is where I always do in automation. <laughs> I, I, I will automate the ever living snot out of just about anything and everything. I'll need one of those. 
items, maybe. I'll put some. Sure, why not? I still haven't figured out what. Is that water still falling? That water's still falling. Alright, I need to. Yeah. So I got a tidy little farm. I, I would love to have made this one bigger, but it didn't make sense since I'm the only one using it. Um, the the bottom half under there is a cactus farm. It's a little small one. And then the top half has a couple of small sugarcane farms. Look. Appears to oh, what happened here? Huh. I wonder why the clock stopped. That's weird. Oh, I wonder if that's a side effect of running the biome changing command. Okay. All right, that's that's good to keep an eye on. Oh yeah, that that's coming. I gotta get I gotta get some villagers to make that happen. Uh, so that that is on the agenda. That will be happening at some point. Uh, I've got my little slime farm over there that I keep turned off most of the time because it is ridiculously effective. And up on top, I've got the mob farm that is uh, due for a little bit of a little bit of an overhaul. I I got a problem with uh, spiders clogging up the system they're, they're they're a little hard to move around they're a little a little funky in the way that they the mechanics work and uh yeah and i'm probably going to come through tear this roof up and add a second layer on top so there there's two little there's a platform over there and a platform over there so when the farm's running, uh, it turns off the water, gives the mobs a chance to spawn, and then the water turns back on, flushes them towards the center, and ideally they, they would be pushed down into that water stream below. But the, the spiders get stuck in that spot there because they can climb up just enough to fight the water stream. And, uh, yeah, they're a pain. They're an absolute pain. If I didn't need the string, I'd just set it up so that way they didn't spawn at all. And eventually I'm going to replace those with the soul campfires and probably raise it up a little bit so I can double the storage down here. Although, with as little as I've been running it, that's been enough. Yeah, the, the Minecraft spiders, though... <laughs> They, they are an absolute pain because they're the oddest size. So you have to you have to do some really weird things to accommodate them when you're building mob farms like that. Hmm. And Reyes is working on her spiral staircase up the center of her island. Um, actually, let me... Uh, I needed to find a place to, to put... There we go. Let me uh, let me do an impromptu unguided tour. Island warp rest. Let's see if I can do this without getting assaulted. L last time I tried to visit Rest's island, um, I, I I nearly got blown up by a creeper and I got mugged by a couple of spiders. <laughs> So Rast has got her little tree farm going over this way. She's got the wood type over by the tree that it grows. So the acacia, the birch, on the other side of the cacti. And the oak and the spruce. And there's a jungle tree in the corner there. Um, she's got the cocoa beans too. I haven't gotten those yet, I don't think. And we're all trying to see if those vines will actually grow all the way down to Y0 if you just let them go. Uh, we're all kind of curious about that one. I'm not sure what she's trying to set up over here. 
Um, oh, yeah, that's right. I'm a guest. I can't open stuff. <laughs> and she's got her little crop farms. Somebody needs to come by and harvest their pumpkins and melons. And sugarcane, oh my. Fields of potatoes and beetroots. And carrots. Although I think, uh, I think there's going to be a double, like, that sugar cane is getting, there's getting ready to be another one over there. I don't know what's going out on that platform, though. That I am kind of curious about. And her love of chiseled stone. Oof. That, that, that's kind of pricey for me. And then, of course, the hot mess of other stuff. <laughs> I should probably watch where I'm walking. There's a little bit of a ledge there. And a giant mossy spiral staircase. Uh, to get the mossy brick, you've got to harvest a vine and a brick. And mix them together at a one-to-one -one ratio. So, for every one of these stairs, that's a vine and a stone brick uh, and I don't think she cheaped out and used slabs on nope she didn't cheap out and use slabs on the platforms which because uh, there's no mossy slabs which is kind of a shame Mo, Mo Yang uh, come on man alright can, can I hit the water in the middle okay that's kind of precarious but that works um <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, that that's kind of my problem right now, is I've got everything tossed into a box or two. And, uh... Uh, I'm scared to do this one. Arcadius has been complaining about the server crashing, and I deeply, deeply wonder if uh, we didn't have a repeat of Spider Farm. From season uh, zero. No, nope. okay. I wonder, did he? Uh, yeah, mushroom fields. Okay. So this might actually be safe to walk around. <laughs> Ooh, I like the shrub design. Is that, that's got to be a jungle sapling. Um, I, I could actually take a look and... Yeah, jungle sapling. Okay. Nice. So he's got his little tiny home. <laughs> what a really beautiful pagoda. The cats are there to scare away the creepers so they don't, you know, nab you while you're AFK. He's working on a graveyard over there. There's another portal this way. It looks like he's starting to fill in this part now, too. I'm not sure what's going to go in there. Uh, I do like the terrain changes. You know, some highs and lows, some rises and dips. And I don't think I'm going to be able to show off everything because I can't open doors when I'm a guest on someone's island so yeah I, I can't there's some clerics in there <laughs> if you caught that uh, yeah the yeah, I need to make sure that I do this I my goal is to make the top part of my island the one that's level with here the decorative part yep with uh, with the version of Skyblock we're playing, you can't pillage from anybody else's boxes or open anybody's doors or any of that kind of stuff. There, there's a little bit more more than the normal protection. You, you can't go destroying crops or anything like that either, uh, which is kind of good in some respects because somebody <clears throat> Arcanius, is noted for um, you know. Borrowing supplies. Alright. And 
and yeah. And he also does a statuary. For a while there, Arcadius was doing a lot with 2D art. Uh, which I would like to highly encourage him to do again. Although it's going to be harder in Skyblock since you don't have easy access to concrete. And uh, the concrete makes the best, the best 3D art. And, uh, and then we get into medics, more uh, castle themed. Oh, the log is new. Is that supposed to be? Th yeah, that's that looks like a supporting beam all the way up through. Uh, oh, okay, that's what the trapdoor is for, so you can get off onto the ramparts. Or whatever. No, not Rampart. What am I thinking? I'm thinking I'm forgetting the right word. The proper word. Alright. Let's... Oh no. I'm lost in the walls. Turn left when you find the cask of Amontillado. Okay. Yeah, Medic's been really busy with the decorating, too. Uh, I still gotta get around to getting some bees. I, I need to set up a uh, farm down down underneath. I might... I'll probably end up setting them up for a slow farm where I get one... Uh, one nest that does nothing but produce honeycomb and another that produces... Um, Honey bottles. And Medic's little open tent bazaar. Mr. Grillin. <laughs> A little merchant there. Get something nice and tasty on tap. Uh, yeah, that's the direction over to my place. There's his cactus farm. He's working on putting a second layer to it and actually moving everything down lower. Uh, these doors actually drop you to different layers below. I can't take you there because I can't open the doors. There's his storage extra secure behind a door I can't open in boxes I can't open. <laughs> There's some villagers in here up on the second floor. So, yeah, he's been he's been busy. Wonder if that's his uh mushroom grow growing place. Ooh. Ooh, that looks like it's almost done. Nice. All right. Time to stop stalling and get back to my own stuff. Yeah, it looks like he's got a lot more wall to finish. Because this, the, this, uh, that's the outline between, around his island. That's the outer bounds. Alright, let me not fall to my death on stream. That, that would be, that would be sad. I would be sad. Yeah, I'll probably find that funny, though. <laughs> Alright. Let me, uh, I need... Uh, the dungeon game does seem to be doing pretty well. Uh, I, I, I've heard I've heard some people that that are kind of a little down on it, which is a little bit of a shame because it is a good game, from what I've seen. I've not had a chance. I, I've had Minecraft Dungeon since it was available for pre-release. I, I ordered it and I, I haven't had a chance to play it yet. I feel kind of embarrassed about that. Yeah, yeah, The it, it seems to be doing pretty good for the most part. They released a new expansion recently, too. Um, yeah, it seems to... From within the Minecraft community, Minecraft Dungeon seems to be very well received. I'm not sure about the reaction from outside the Minecraft community, and that may be the difference between between them. Because uh, you got 
guys like Pixel Riffs, who, who's big in the Minecraft community, and uh, he is absolutely loving it. Um, he, matter of fact, Pixel Riffs went and made a special character uh, that he jokingly called Barefist Steve because he wanted to see if he could beat the game literally barefisted. Uh, so that's what he did is, is just uh, every everything he could to 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 play to to just the the empty hand. <laughs> And so much so that Mojang actually built into one of the updates an achievement for for playing barefisted and some special wrist wraps and uh, yeah, it, it's pretty much a thank you to Pixel Riffs for doing that. So I, I thought that was pretty good. And, and it shows that, that the devs do pay attention to the community and things that are going around. Which I also appreciate, because that, you know, sometimes you wonder. I I do feel for the devs, though, because they, they, it's hard. With, with a community that large and so many people wanting, playing the game in so many different ways... Uh, because if you think I get technical, there is a technical community in Minecraft that really digs deep into the intricacies of the game. Uh, like they, they've got things timed down to the point where they figured out that if you if you nudge just the right things in just the right ways, you can actually control the randomizer to get a predictable result from the random number generator for purposes of uh, making it rain or snow or whatever weather you want. So they've got, the, they've got the weather set up with redstone machines specifically designed uh, to, to give you the weather that you want. And, and so they've got it to that level. And it is... It is amazing. Alright. Um, got those guys there. But I mean, so you've got those kinds of technical players. And then you've got... You've got the other extreme where you've got people who are exceptionally creative. Like they, they literally play in creative mode. So where we're in survival, you've got you've got to worry about hunger, you've got to worry about sleep, uh, you've got to harvest the materials that you're going to use. You can put the game in creative mode and you pretty much get everything uh whatever's in the game is available in infinite supply uh and, and using using that creative mode they they build they, they use it like a architecture like an 8-bit architecture program and they build these massive cityscapes like somebody somebody built a, a two-scale model of all sorts of different different objects like like Death Stars and Star Trek Enterprises and, uh, and and real world buildings built to to an amazing level of detail, uh, big grand castles. So you've got creative people doing that. You've got technical people at the other end, and you've got people doing all sorts of stuff in the middle too. You know, pe people like us, where you know, yeah, there, there's there's some there's some farming going on. There there's some a, a, a little bit of the technical side and and some of the design side, but we're doing it in in survival mode. So you've got to, you've got to start thinking like, I don't know, I only got how many stacks of andesite? Uh, okay, I need. <laughs> I need to do, I need just this, just this amount 
Um, I also need to empty out my inventory. I think I'm just going to dump everything into a couple of random boxes down here until I can get a proper... until I can figure out where I'm going to put everything. Because I still need to finish uh, making boxes. I'm still in the planning stages. I, I want to have it so that way when you drop down, you've got a storage room and crafting set up already over here. And uh, th this is kind of the first sketch of the layout. I, I still don't like the floor. But I'll figure that out later. I'm getting tired of having some of my stuff in storage up here because I, I got these boxes of randomness. Yeah, all that extra stuff. All the logs and whatnot. Alright, I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, do I have the inventory space? Yeah, I might have the inventory space. Nope, that's about all I got. Okay. Uh, and I might try to rearrange it so the color tones are a little better. Because, <laughs> of course... All right. All right, I've got the stone hiding behind there, so maybe I'll get the lumber hiding behind this side. One, two, three, four, five. I'll have to put the next one off the edge there. I might extend this out six anyway. All right, good. So the birch. Got all the birch. That's all the birch. Uh, it would probably be oak. I'm going color tones. Actually, that might be the thing to do, is to figure that part out and then and then come back and fill in the rest. So we got birch. Uh, or like that. Yeah, I might do it like that. There's any saving that. All right. Spruce is going to be there. All right. Is that a spruce slab? That's a spruce slab. Okay. Maybe. Maybe I will need more than a barrel. I do, I'll fix it later. Alright, let me see how many more barrels I can grab. Because I think most of those, I think the spruce was the, the spruce was probably the most populated one. That's cobble. Uh, 
Yeah, I should be able to get the rest of these. Oh, I do have cocoa beans. Okay, good. I should probably start working on, uh... I'm filling in a few more of those. Oh, doggone it. I don't... I don't have enough room. I thought I had enough room. I don't. Alright, let me take this and then I'll come back for the, the rest. Either way, I don't have too much more left to move. And there's Java being very, very silly. So that's going to be the dark oak. Where's my dark oak saplings? Dark oak logs. And fence. And there we go. Bruce is already taken care of. This is the acacia. That's jungle, isn't it? That's jungle. That's acacia. That's my jungle. And there's my oak. See a very happy puppy. He's probably finally going to get fed. Poor starving dog. Nobody cares. Nobody loves him. He's just a hungry, woe-begotten puppy. <laughs> and if you believe that, I got some oceanfront property in Nebraska to sell you. I need to I need to post more photos on Twitter or Instagram or something just because he's that special. I think most of the, most of the photos of him that I've posted here lately have been in uh, the Discord for either uh, Andrew Heaton or uh, Justin Robert Young, one of the two. All right, that was a bad idea. I I definitely I definitely get my hands on some cobble. I really need to do something about uh See when you smelt cobble, it turns into stone. When you smelt it again, it turns into smooth stone. And unfortunately, the generator uh, when it doesn't have that percentage chance to give you some random extra, gives you cobble. So all that stone brick, every one of those stone brick blocks was made out of uh, stone. So all that is cobblestone that was cooked up and then crafted into stone bricks. That's That's a fair chunk of resources there. Alright. Let me get uh let me get some of this lumber in. Alright, these are the acacia logs. And that's uh oak door. And that random barrel is gonna have to go there for something. I don't know what. But something will go in there. What would I need to put in there? Is there anything that I don't need a lot of? I don't know. But, um... Uh, Alright, I need... I need 
need some chests. That's what I need. Alright, what do I have a lot of? I got a fair amount of oak for the moment. Probably be careful jumping with that fire around too. That's how bad things happen. Oh, like that. Like that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a lot of lumber. Oh. I both love and hate the way that they did the uh For the longest time you couldn't put two chests next to each other like this. Um for legacy reasons. And they finally fixed that. And and I like that. Use up a chunk of birch then. Yeah, I'm gonna have to spend some quality time farming lumber. Alright, that's one, two, three, four, five, six high. So we're at one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me go get the rest of these guys. Oh, because <laughs> there's already five, or there's already one, so five more will get me six. know how far I got to go. <laughs> Kinda hate that this stuff's tucked in the back like a dirty little secret, but I don't know how to unless I move the workstations. Then I could put the barrels in the ground. Lumber. Lumber. And I hate burning through all the acacia too, because that is a pain. Hello, Axonin. How you doing? I, I hate burning through the, the acacia, but that's what I happen to have a fair number of logs for, because that is such a pain to farm. Uh, all things being equal, I'd rather do this with spruce, but you don't want to see me sitting there growing spruce trees and chopping them down. That's, that's, just, that's no fun. That's no fun. That's no fun to watch. That, that's the kind of thing that you do, like, you, you pull up a, uh, a stream, like, I don't know, Beast Lord SJ, and, and just, you know, have a lot of fun watching some good, good gaming content there. Where you set up a, uh, set up a podcast or something. Are you kidding me? All right. Uh, <laughs> and there we go. That gives me a little more room to breathe. And I may throw some more barrels back here. Uh, Actually, 
before I get done. I may end up swapping this so the barrels are even with here. A space and then double chest. Yeah. Alright, let me... <laughs> I'll get it right eventually. So I'll have workstations, barrels, and then double chest. A lot of that may be happening off stream because, yeah, that, I'm going to have to spend some quality time doing this, chopping up lumber. All right, so we got there, and it was going to be double chest. Thought I had a barrel somewhere. Did I not have a barrel somewhere? There's a little more lumber, at least. I, I know I had a barrel somewhere. Yeah. I set it right there. So we'll do it like that. So we'll have workstations, barrels, chests. And then do that down either hallway. Gonna go two, three, four, five, six. So I can still reach the top without too much trouble. And push comes to shove, I can put some stairs here and get another another set of chests. Right? Yep. figure out what other workstations I need. I need the armor smithing station. I need the other stations that I need to work with. What am I forgetting? What is the armor? Uh, um, no. There we go. A smithing table. Oh, okay. I need two iron ingots and, uh, um, I guess technically I need a fletching table, but I, I, I don't, I just don't do enough with arrows. And my goal is to get a piglin trading thing going on over in the nether. Um, so that way I can just get, uh, spectral arrows from them. Cause I, I don't really I don't really go too much into into that side. All right. Um, so much randomness. All the random junk. I mean, that was the whole point of today was to empty out the junk drawer. Did I forget anything? Nope, oh, nope. Can't forget the shiny hat. <laughs> Alright. I wonder if anything fell. Ah. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. I'm just tossing randomness in here for now. I will organize it all later. 
I mean, I guess technically I could probably like I could free up some space by spawning in the two pigs somewhere, but I don't have a I don't have a pig pen for them yet. That's uh that's on the agenda. Um, I could put the oak away at least. Oh, that's birch. That's oak. Uh, what else can I do? I still need to set up that enchanting table. I got everything I need there. But I think right now I'll just finish moving the finish moving the junk down here and then probably call it a night. Because uh Yeah. Like I said, it's been a weird week. That's why I'm not doing Zelda today. Uh, I'll probably move I'll probably move this down off stream. Uh same basic idea. I might add a third hopper. And, and so that way I'll get three three generators going at a time. I can't, um, it's getting a little bit better. Doctor's got me on some new medication, which, uh, is kind of, sort of, a little bit helping, maybe. Uh, it's one of those things that I won't know for sure if it is, how, if it's helping or how much it will help for anywhere from a couple weeks to five weeks, uh, which is, that, that's kind of frustrating <laughs> that it's, that it's going to be that long a wait. Oh, oh, okay. That's, uh, that's not protecting me. Hmm. Yeah. So, it, I, I'll find out eventually. It, it's just, uh, it, it's not going to be, it's not going to be anytime soon. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. But, uh, working on it. One step at a time. One step at a time. If this works, then, then you know, it works and I can go from there. If it doesn't work, then uh, I'll know another one that doesn't work. And we'll, we'll try the next med. And we're in repeat until we get answers. All right. Uh, yeah, I got enough that I can take this and fit it all. Let me step far enough over that I'll catch the edge of a slab. Uh, I needed a light down there, or I wanted a light down there, but apparently that that's not protecting me like I would have thought it would. Um, and I need to figure out how do I want to mark that as cobble? Now yeah, I'll figure that out in a little bit. Let's go two more trips and then no, more than two more trips. I got enough that I can do this. Matter of fact, let me craft as many of those back down to blocks. Did that change things? Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, I think I got more regular cobble up there. Let me put the stair slabs and whatnot there for the moment. Let me set another barrel of soon-to-be randomness right there for now. I still need to... I, I'm probably going to end up taking all the leather that I made and uh, getting ready to do a bunch of item frames. I really wish there was more that I could do something like this where I can put a slab of it over. That might be what I keep the barrels to or the kinds of things that I can do that with. Um... I might also end up putting a second barrel on top of each of these lumbers um, just so that way I can use that for leaves and some of the overflow. Um, I know technically a double chest would be a little bit more efficient in terms of storage, but uh, I kind of like I kind of like doing that. Doing what I got. All right, that's everything there. Sweet. Okay. 
Let's get... Yeah, the <laughs> I get a ton of cobble. I'll leave that side for stone. Um, I'm going to move that all anyway when I move those chests back and move these guys forward. So, yay for trouble, double work. But that that's the basic setup that I'm def I like that the the more I look at it the more I like it uh, cuz I can get past the barrels to the storage chests if I need to I think I might uh cuz I've been thinking about where to put that enchanting station Hello beach duck Can I fit everything else in there? I don't think I can. Just set up the uh, the rest of the junk drawer here for a little bit until I can get things squared away. <laughs> I wonder if those are the potatoes that I didn't realize that I... <laughs> I I've been trying to figure out where, where a couple of stacks of cooked potatoes went, and I have no idea. I thought I put them in the furnaces that were down here earlier, and, and I just, I don't know, they're gone. They disappeared. Yeah, I. Yeah, I, I got something that I was thinking about doing, and I may. Uh, no, food does not rot in this game. Uh, you can get rotten flesh, which, which is a thing, but uh, food itself does not rot. So the the beetroots aren't going to go bad or anything like that. Uh, matter of fact, I can take those with me. I can take. I just shuffled everything in the junk drawer, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Uh, getting? I think I've been forgetful. <laughs> I think I've been very forgetful, unfortunately. Because I've got some storage over here for things like the carrots and the potatoes. And the beetroots. Not go where? I forget where we were going to go. All right, wheat's almost getting ready for another harvest, which is good. Same for the potatoes. And the carrots are going to need a little more time. Beards look just about done, except for like one or two. So, might be able to run that again. This is a fun little machine. You, you get enough bone meal, and uh, it it's part of the more technical end of Minecraft. Um, you plant a crop. These three dispensers bone meal it up to where it's ready to harvest, and by the time that happens, this piston will have retracted, turning that area to darkness. And crops can't stay planted in complete darkness. So the crop breaks off due, due to the low light level. And then uh, it just it cycles through. So all you got to do is sit here and hold down the right mouse button. And it'll just it'll churn out crops at an astonishing rate. Uh, it'll also go through an astonishing amount of bone meal. Uh, an astonishing amount of bone meal. But if you need a lot of crops in a hurry... That's a good way to get a lot of carrots, potatoes, wheat, and beetroot. Oh, that is everything up here. Okay. I just need to worry about, uh, I'll move the cobble generator later, and I'll rig it up with uh, room for three, three hoppers. I could make it as deep as five or six, but I, I don't think I'm going to do that just because I don't want to dedicate that many hoppers. Because uh, as a reminder, for Skyblock, one of the interesting limitations that makes uh, this run a little more challenging than normal 
is unlike the normal vanilla Minecraft, you have a limit as to how many hoppers you can have. So each island can only have a grand total of 50 hoppers, uh, which is why, which is why the, uh, the clock that runs that and the clock that runs that is not a hopper clock. Uh, just using, using two hoppers for nothing more than a timer is, that's just not an efficient use of resources. Um, that farm there really should have more than two hoppers to catch all the crops, but that's not an efficient use of resources. Um, those would normally be two separate farms, but uh, y you get the idea. Um, so, all right, I got to start. I got to design for the initial area, and I'll build out from here. Um, I think I might take... Uh, I think I might build this off in this direction and then turn that slime chunk into into the enchanting station and just set that up so that way slimes won't spawn there. Uh, although that feels like a, a waste of useful space. Uh, I, I've, I definitely want to pack in everything down here as tightly as I can. And, and I know, I it doesn't look like I am. But, uh, we'll see. All right. And I need to get more saddles. <laughs> yeah, I could toss the workstations on. Yeah, I I debated on that because I could put a lot of the workstations under the chests. I, um, I can get another row of chests by taking out uh, the slabs there and then putting a stair here. Which, uh, which did, the thought did cross my mind. Um, uh, I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out how to make sure that I, I take efficient use of my space. I don't want to be all tiny homes about it, but I do want, uh, I don't want to be as sprawled as ran and random as I was when we did the test, the skyblock test. Cause, uh, if you think this is disorganized, you should have seen what I whipped together when we were testing out the software for Skyblock. It, it looked like MC Escher had a field day. Because, uh, yeah. It, it was not... Nah, it was special. It was very, very special. And not up to my usual standards. And I gotta get a, I gotta get a better pumpkin and melon farm. That, that might be... So I guess that is that is the next thing. Uh, I should probably set up a whiteboard somewhere for <laughs> for signs, like my my little to do list. Do, do I have some more oak signs? I think I got some more oak signs. Oh yeah, I got oak signs. All right. To do. Sort storage. Tree farm. <laughs> oh wait, no. I don't have enough room for the full meme. Because uh, that would have been question mark and then the next one would have been profit. Uh, <laughs> sort storage. Tree farm. And... Uh, because I need to update the melon and pumpkin so that way I start getting more out of that. Uh, eh, that's to start with. I, I don't need a big, long project list yet. Uh, I might I might make a book and quill and actually put together an actual uh, project board of some sort. But uh, sign, signs will work for now. Oh. If I could only find the gravel... I could I could do enough white concrete to make a little whiteboard in that <laughs> I love working with some whiteboards. Uh, actually no. Not not like Reyes does. Probably the best thing was uh, some dry erase tape so you could turn just about anything into a dry erase surface. 
yeah, I, I got to get to farming. And I definitely want more jungle trees. My biggest problem has been I haven't been able to get a good return on the saplings. I could definitely get some more oak in a hurry. Yep, they, they got the dry erase paint uh, at my old job at the hospital. I was sorely tempted to just dry erase paint the entire top of the desk because I had so many little scrap notes that I needed to keep around hither and yon that uh, uh, that that's what I was going to do. Instead, I, I split the difference and I invested in these little dry erase notebooks. Uh, so it's five or six pages of dry erase. I, I'm going to say air quote pages because it's a... Uh, I'm, I'm getting ready to knock on it like you, like you can hear through the... Okay. <laughs> But yeah, it, it, and it's great. You, you pair that with a standard dry erase. If you don't mind it smudging and being quick to wipe, which is what I do at my current job. I've got a lot of stuff where I just need to, I just need to keep something down for the duration of a repair. So a half hour, uh, you know, I need to jot down all the parts that I put into it so I can tally up the cost of the repair at the end. You know, E string, A string, G string, bridge, uh, you know, so on and so forth. So regular dry erase works good for that. Uh, if you have something where you want to keep it more permanent than a regular dry erase marker, but not so permanent that, you know, as a pen, uh, these guys, the, st you know, let me, uh, that's a bigger one. Uh, the Stadletter, Stadletter it is a German company, uh, S-T-A-E-D-T-L-E-R, correctable Lumicolor markers. Um, they write on like, like a regular marker, but they are water-soluble, so you can use them on a dry ray surface and still wipe them clean later, but they don't smudge easily. Um, I use them for one of my larger dry erase notebooks too for a lot of meeting notes. And what I do is I go to the meetings with this, jot down on the dry erase, and then scan it into OneNote. And, and then, you know, wipe out the paper. And that way I didn't have stacks and stacks and stacks of paper notes floating everywhere. I, I just had stacks and stacks and stacks of uh, scans taking up space on my hard drive. That's almost like being better, right? But, uh, all right. It is, uh, I've been at this for a while. I, I'm kind of at the point where I'm a little stuck. I'm constrained on resources. I need to make a spot that I can, uh, harvest more trees, but I, and start sorting through some of what I got. Uh,. I've got some leather already set up, right? One of these boxes? Or is it one of the boxes over here? I guess I can tear down that infinite water supply now too. Yeah, okay. So I got some stacks of uh, stacks of leather that I can use to make some... Uh, item frames. Words, how do they work? Uh, that I can use to make some item frames and uh, and then go from there. All right. Now I'm just putzing around. All right. This is where I say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Uh, Coffee Craft is definitely every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. We tend to get more of the server on at the same time. I know Arcadius usually does a little stream earlier in the afternoon. So if you haven't already, give him a follow. And uh, that way you'll get notified when he goes live. After him is usually x -Medic Frog, who also streams a few other games. Both of them stream other games throughout the week. So follow them both. And uh, one of these days, I'll get around to getting the command set up so that way I can do a, a something and have all the links pop up when I'm talking like this. Uh, yes, Beast Lord, good to see you, man. Uh, we, we've got to we've got to get a project going together at some point in time. Maybe when you get the PC, we we can start getting you into the Java Minecraft or something. Because uh, I, I know I know we uh, yeah. 
Unfortunately, uh, Battlefield 5 doesn't do the cross-platform play. Otherwise, that would have been good, too. Um, and Fridays. Fridays, normally, I do games revisited, look back at the classic games of my youth. This, the here lately, I've been all over the map on my Friday streams because life's been a little hectic. Once things settle down a little bit better, uh, I should be back on track where every Friday is games revisited. And, uh, yeah. So, with that, let me see who's... Alright, looks like Grimly is available for a raid. So, I'm going to send you all his way. He is a cool dude. Uh, based over in... Yeah. And, uh, I'm not familiar with the game he's playing. It says, Baba is you. Huh. I, I guess we'll get a chance to uh, take a look. So, thank you again for stopping by. Have fun. And uh, let's stick around for the raid.